I gotta put this light on myself. I've seen a lot. I dealt with a lot. I assisted a lot. But a lot of times it never adds up to what I wanted to add up to. You sit there and you think. You put things together. You're always trying to work with. Figure out how. And wonder why. And you're looking for ideas to generate. But people will say, yeah, we going to do this. We going to do that. We going to do this. But it doesn't seem to happen. You always get that in your head. Nah, that's not going down like that. That's not going down like that. It's not going down like that. It's something flaky. But all you get is the talk. So many people talk. Talking sounds good. But talking doesn't solve anything. I think a lot of people actually just want to talk. They just want to hear themselves talk. And you have the mindset that you want to provide action. That backs the words up. That backs the boast up. But people just boast. I'm living proof. Like, I don't invest in relationships I don't I don't invest in alcohol I don't invest in tobacco products I don't invest in drugs I invest in myself I feed myself I invest in natural liquids I invest in little things to keep me busy, like maybe a light, maybe a camera lens, maybe an SD card, maybe just a new pair of shoes or a hat. Nothing superficial. Everything I've obtained, I work for. How did I get it? I lost so much over the years, and how did I get what I got now? I cleaned a whole bunch of garbage cans. I swept up so many hallways and mops. I shoveled up so much snow. I picked up a whole bunch of dead rats, cats, mice. Pumped out basements full of water. And that's how I obtained what I obtained. To make it work, I try. But people keep saying, yeah, we gonna do this. We gonna do that. We gonna do this. We gonna do that. But all that is is yappity yap 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 yap. But I got to say I appreciate the people that actually took the time to take a couple of pictures with me. Let me capture their video. The little things. I appreciate them.
because all the rest just says, yeah, we want to do this, we want to do that, we want to do this, we want to do that. They don't do it, they're just talking. Like, someone to say, yeah, we're going to do this, um, what's today, Saturday, right? Yeah, we're going to do it next week, Saturday, right? So, between now and next Saturday, I probably don't went purchase something that I might need that, you know, uh, that we discussed. I said, yeah, this might help, you know, boom, 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 Next Saturday come. Oh, well, I got my main, main guy, main person. Now, I can't use you, so I came out of my pocket with X, Y, Z, and ADT, but that's all right. It just adds to my tools. But it's just the broken promises, you know, like, yeah, we, the... And it never, it's been like that for a couple of years. Uh, Kazillion projects, maybe one project out of every 40 or 50 that was talked on, planned on, all that stuff, but it's okay. So, when people come up in 2022 and say, hey, can we do this? If you didn't do anything with me in 2021 and we spoke on something and we agreed upon doing something and you did not follow through, I would not mess with you in 2022. I still pay homage to whoever did something with me in 2021, but... All the ones that broke the promise of, yes, we're going to do this, and they never did it, and had me texting them back, hey, you know, you ready? Like, uh, I'm free on such and such day. I'm free on such and such day. Countless times, countless times, and to end up, it's not happening. Or that particular day, it's not happening. And then what happens, the same day that they, it ain't happening with you, you find out later on they did what you were supposed to do with them to, with someone else. It's all good. I remember Smooth One Productions. And I'm out of here. That's the way it goes. I'm not I'm not dealing with people complaining about my boyfriend, my girlfriend, my husband, my wife, my boo, my nigga, my itch, whatever. I don't want to hear it because I don't do the relationship thing. So when I unfriend you, I don't respond to any of your messages. That means I ain't got time. I'm not doing a relapse of you saying one thing, but you mean you ain't trying to do it. That's in all aspects. I don't want to hear about your baby mama, your baby daddy giving you problems. I don't want to hear about your wife, your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your boo, your nigga giving you trouble. Because I can't help you with that. Get off the phone, get off the text with me, and um, get real and have a sit down with them. Stop crying in somebody's ear that is not part of the equation. I'm not trying to hear that in 2022. And for all the people, if you're going to do business, we're going to do business. If you're not going to do business, don't talk to me. I don't care who you are. I'm not trying to be, oh, last minute, oh, let me call him. Nah, I'm not doing the last minute thing. For nobody. I'm out. Peace, one love, smooth production, and I'm out of here. I also... Don't put no booty shaking videos on my Facebook page because I no longer read texts. I mean, I no longer check out people's stories. I don't want to read stories because that's in too much in everybody's business. Don't put no booty shaking videos on my on my uh, Facebook because I'm telling you right now, I'm scrolling down any any appropriate post on my Facebook page. I might not even hide it. I might, you know what? 
this is my standard any any inappropriate post on my facebook page i'm snoozing you for automatic 30 i don't care who you is so if you put a booty shaking video up on my my facebook timeline you put a video up there that's promoting something crazy that i don't follow why am i doing that because when you post on my Facebook page, it's a reflection of me to whoever's watching. People are watching. So if they see something that they that they assume I follow, they assume I'm with that, I'm down with that, I'm not down with that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to scroll down my timeline and whatever I see that's not of my standards, of my approval... I'm snoozing you for 30 days. I'm not hiding it no more. You get snoozed for 30 days. I don't care if you my son, my daughter, my cousin, my aunt, my uncle. I'm snoozing you for 30 days too bad. Because I don't read stories no more. Because reading people's stories is being in too much of the, their personal business. I'm out of here. I'm moving in a different way. Peace.